currently there it is okay and uh, <clears throat> this is uh, it's called do more designer is the software to program one of these PLCs so I guess the the name of the PLC is do more um, and they're uh, relatively low cost PLCs uh, but I you know just from looking on the automation direct website um, but I, I don't know anything about them really uh, but they do have the simulator software and uh, the simulator software looks like this okay and uh, so I really kind of liked how this was laid out um, as far as the you know showing you uh, digital inputs okay so here's uh, I've got 16 digital inputs 16 digital outputs uh, eight analog inputs they're 12 bits so you see they go from 0 to 4095 um, all right so that's a those are 12 bit analog inputs and then the analog outputs here I haven't actually tried to write an analog output yet but um, I'm assuming it's it's going to have to be a 12 bit too I assume but I mean that's fine for us but uh, then these down here are just kind of memory uh, I think for what I can figure out these C's are just kind of memory uh, uh, bits that you can use so like a virtual bit or a virtual relay depending on you know what terminology you use so these the C0 C1 2 3 so I've got uh, 24 of those I've got virtual memory here which um, somewhere in the help they uh, they listed that I forget exactly where it was but um, the virtual memory I think was like 16-bit words unsigned or something like that um, and the this is real memory is floating point here okay so uh, but uh, so let me just kind of show you this software here it was a 250 meg download and so it's not real huge and it's free you can download it there's no you got to give them your email address or sign up for this or that or anything which um, is something I kind of like because I know some people don't like to have to register for this or that and then end up getting lots of annoying emails or things like that so um, but but I just kind of liked the layout of this especially the simulator um, because it just Everything is condensed and into this one screen, and you know there's you know it seems like it'll kind of have enough um, that I, I think we can work with uh, when we get into trying to do the um, closed loop control, which is what we're going to talk about tonight. So I need to work with it more um, to to know for sure, but. Uh, so the one thing I've kind of noticed with this, I kept trying to make changes to my program. Uh, so let's just kind of look at this little program that I wrote here. So uh, here I have the standard ceiling circuit. And the uh, so I have a, a stop. And then you can actually label these. Um, if you want to edit, you need to like click on this edit mode and it pops up this little instruction toolbox here. Um, but you can come in here and uh, select these and you can you can see here like here it's showing us the uh, inputs okay and or you can drill down here X X are inputs and Y's are outputs digital outputs and you can see they they've got like for lots and lots of them here and you just you can kind of like drill down and select it okay and you can see that I actually labeled x1 start okay so you can uh, take and like if this is uh, x0 
you can label these. Um, problem is that I've got my screen kind of zoomed in here, so I can't see the entire screen. But if you make a change, and you can come over here and click the uh, the button, and it, uh, you know, like here, I'm going to make this X1, which should label it as start. Okay, so you can see uh, start labeled. Um, and then Ys are outputs. So this is a standard seal in here. Okay. And then the uh, I created a timer. So I came over here to this toolbox to do the timer. And timers are all the way down at the bottom. And you can just choose, uh, you scroll it up and down in here to see them. And then you can like drag these over. So I just like grabbed a timer and there's shortcuts and stuff for those. But, uh, you know, we can like add this above or below and then they pop up this screen and give you some extra information. All right, so you can see here, here are my timers and they've got lots and lots of timers that you can choose. So if you guys, um, I think in PLC one class, uh, you use the, uh, micro logics uh, and you use the uh, with the micro logics you use the slick 500 software instead of the 5000 so this this software is kind of like that but right up here is where I can like name this so I'll just kind of oh, I thought I named it there before No, that's just the block name there. I don't know. I found naming it. It looks like a go here, but looks like the nickname kind of thing. And then if I hit select, okay, and then hit the little green checkbox up here to accept that. And there's the timer. I don't see my name for that, but it's uh kind of sitting there and then uh it's kind of weird if you want to like tie this timer into the rail up here you need to come back up here under contacts and you need to scroll along here and you can kind of like bring a horizontal wire here so you can drag this over here and connect it out that way and then you need to go up so then you drag that over here and you connect it here <laughs> and so that's kind of how you attach them um to to do the drop down took me a little while to figure that one out okay to to like do my ceiling and stuff but uh yeah so you had to come back up under contacts and that's where you can kind of bring the wire up and down and and then put in a parallel kind of uh, connection there. Okay, just um, click on them to delete them. Oops, I want to delete that bit. Okay, so I just you can discard all changes that you made there. All right, so but if you do change something, like I'm going to change this to X1. Okay, I discarded it, so it reverted back. And then I'm going to click on accept here. Okay, so you got to click on this accept. Um, one thing to kind of show you over here, if you look at this, it's like uh, when I change it, it puts this yellow bar here showing that there was a change, and then you got to click that accept to actually accept it. All right. And uh, so then to write this, you click on the write button. Okay. And then it says, rungs have changed. Do you want to accept that? Yes. All right. And then here, I was like clicking force and checking these boxes here. 